In terms of the solo exhibitions, which is a fantastic aspect of this of this art fair, where we've got little solo exhibitions of people, we're seeing like different artists. Um, let's just take two for example, Johannes Pokela, truly an old master, great master of South African art. He's got a solo representation, just as he's got a major retrospective at Zeitz at the moment. And his work references Dutch old masters. So as a, as a black African, he's actually taking on old masters and using their, um, their vocabulary to make really critical statements about where we stand now in South Africa. And then you think of Brett Charles Seiler, who's a very young artist, an emerging artist, but also a gay artist who's like really proudly making statements which might even be uncomfortable for some people. And I think that's great to be sometimes a little bit uncomfortable in, in terms of the work that you're doing. So I think that the art fair has got a really important and large amount of scope to talk about. Previously, my work was mostly about my anxiety, mental health, and also influenced by the pandemic. Now it's more of the aftermath of the pandemic and how I want to see myself, how I want to express myself and yeah, share myself to the world. The response has been really good in terms of, you know, it's, people come in and say wow or they brighten up and it's just like that's what I hope, like I want people to feel better and I hope that my work can do that. My body of work for the art fair is called Five Propositions for the origin of a black body. Um, basically, the gist of it is that it presents five suites of paintings that each offer a different um, speculative origin for the idea of a black body. And this uh, definition of a black body is borrowed from the concept in physics, which is a, a hypothetical, um, not real, um, perfect absorber of all types of radiation. Um, so black bodies don't actually exist, but that's kind of where my interest came in. Solo is really important part of this of this art fair because it allows individual artists also a moment to breathe and to show their work as solo um, exhibitions. And many of these artists produced this work in the last two years during lockdown. They were they were isolated. And you know, artists work in relation to each other. And what's interesting, if you look at the solo work, a lot of it refers to art of the past. So they're looking at artists who, you know, may have been making art for the last two or three hundred years. I think what those artists were doing were looking, maybe on their on YouTube, maybe looking on their phone, also taking out those dusty old art history textbooks from first year, looking through them and actually drawing a lot of inspiration from it. And I think that's what, again, is really important. Solo gives you a moment to pause, to stop and to think about individual artwork and the way that that artwork has been produced during this, this time of lockdown. This house is quite big. Everybody's got a, a, a place of it.